Dan from Gear Diary here. This fall, we've had a chance on the site to look at uh, a lot of the different new products from Scotty Vest. It began with Judy taking a preview look at both some of the men's and women's items, and then we've reviewed some of the jackets, with a few more coming up, by the way. And most recently, we actually looked at the new Scotty Vest travel boxers, which are really comfortable. If I were oversharing, I'd tell you that I'm wearing a pair now. They're really comfortable. The most unique item, I guess one could say, that Scott has rolled out this year is not the boxers, however. It's the carry-on coat. The carry-on coat is a trench coat that Scott designed specifically to replace or to add to your carry-on so that you don't have to have as much luggage. It's the thing that got Scott in a little hot water with Delta and some of the other airlines recently. It, it looks like a trench coat, like one of those traditional trench coats that you'd see in an old movie. Um, but what you don't know when you first look at it is that it's got tons of pockets. So I got to thinking, how might I use a coat like this? Well, we're heading out to our timeshare in Aruba in a couple of weeks, and I have this really terrible habit of, of packing way more than I need. I pack and I pack and I pack, and then I get to Aruba, and I basically wear one or two bathing suits during the week, a couple of t-shirts, I'm in my flip-flops nonstop, that's it. So we get back, I haven't worn two-thirds or more of what I brought, and it's been in the luggage, so it has to get washed anyway. So I thought to myself, self, what would happen if you limited yourself just to what you could bring in the carry-on coat? This is kind of what it would look like. Now, this is probably way more packed than you would want to have on. You know, I mean, way more packed, and it weighs some, you know, a fair bit, but there's a lot of stuff in here, as you're going to see in a second, and I want to see the TSA guys do a body scan while I'm wearing this. All right, so let's, let's take a look at what's actually in this coat that I'm wearing right now, no other bags. Got a pair of shorts. If in case I want to run. A lot of pockets here. It gets a little chilly sometimes, so I brought one of the Scotty Vest long sleeve sport tees. Pretty much live in these things these days, quite frankly. Thank you, Scott. Uh, when I fly, I definitely want to have my noise canceling headset because I don't like flying and these actually work really well, so I've got those. And of course, I need my tunes. So I have my iPhone, which I also, when I'm on vacation, use as my camera. I've got bathing suit. Nicer pair of shorts if we go out at night for dinner. Flip-flop. Second flip-flop. Sunglasses. Very bright, not good for the eyes. But wait, there's more. There's this big zipper right across the back. And if I reach inside, sleep shorts. Scotty Vest Travel Boxers. Another pair of Scotty Vest Travel Boxers. But there's more. So many pockets. Reading material. Kindle. What else do we have? Dop kit. By the way, we're not done. Travel documents. What else do we have? Headphones. Because I don't want to use the noise canceling ones on the beach. Charging cable and brick. Another Scotty Vest t-shirt. And that's pretty much it. That's everything that really I need practically when I'm in Aruba this year. So, I mean, I could conceivably bring it all in this lovely fashionable trench coat. But I got to thinking, what would happen if different people, for different purposes, were using the trench coat? What would happen, say, if a baker were going on a trip? Or, say, an Apple fanboy blogger? Let's take a look. 